All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving our praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Akakwadash. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone while they're in this true from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. And today, I just want to go into another lesson going into the elect of the nation of Israel. And I'm going to entitle this lesson but the election hath obtained it. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying straight to the point. I'm going to start with the book of Isaiah, chapter 42 and verse 1. Behold my servant, whom I, whom I uphold, mine elect, and whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. And yes, <clears throat> the elect of the nation of Israel are going to be, you know, the rulers of the world, you know, the governors of the world, you know, pretty much the judges of the world, you know, that's what's going to take place, you know, they're going to be the judges, you know, to the other nations, but also to the nation of Israel, but they're going to be judges to them in righteousness. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 4. For Jacob, my ser for Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. And yes, you know, when we fell away, you know, from the Most High, when he basically hid himself from us and we forgot our identity, you know, he still remembered his elect, <clears throat> you know. And that's who his elect are, you know, even though the entire nation of Israel, you know, Yashar Allah, you know, the princes of the power, but you know, they're, you know, the rulers, they're the true rulers of the nation of Israel, you know, because they're going to be the ones to receive the salvation of our Lord Yahweh Shai when he returns. <clears throat> It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 9. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah. And it's like it. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah and an inheritor of my mountains. And mine elect shall inherit it and my servant shall and my servants shall dwell there, shall dwell there. It's like you. And yes, once the kingdom of heaven is established, you know, even though the entire nation of Israel is going to be in rulership, you know, it's going to start with the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, they're going to be the first, you know, they're going to get the first pick of everything, you know, land, livestock, you know, women to take for wives, you know those things and even other planets you know they're going to be the you know because they are the first fruits so you know they're going to have the first pick of the things that they want this is the book of matthew chapter 24 and verse 22 and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened and yes that's going into the time that we're in the time that we're in now you know because as you can see you know things are speeding up pretty quickly and that's pretty much what is happening you know the lord is shortening up the days for the elect's sake because just like it says you know no flesh will be will remain you know everyone would die if this system continues to go on because Esau Edom, you know, he wants to destroy <clears throat> the entire nation of Israel. He wants to discontinue us from being a nation. Ultimately, not only wipe ourselves out, the other nations, and ultimately himself, you know, this is why this man has to be stopped. But this is why the days are shortened for the very elect's sake so the Lord can come back and deliver his elect. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 24. 
for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders and so much that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect and yes you know especially in this current time that we're in you know there are false prophets you know false hamashiachs you know false you know teachers claiming to be you know the messiah but they aren't and you know these so-called great signs and wonders you know like elon musk with his Neuralink brain chip, you know, to basically implant chips in people's heads. Going into the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16, you know, implanting chips in the people's heads, you know, so that they can be able to move again, you know, to be able to use their bodies for people <clears throat> that are paraplegic, you know. They can move certain body parts or any of their body parts you know those are some of the the wonders that they show <clears throat> just as an example but you know the elect you know can't be deceived by these things it's the book of matthew chapter 24 and verse 31 and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds and from one end of heaven to the other. And yes, once that destruction happens, you know, and it takes place in the midst of World War Three, you know, the elect are going to be saved, you know, because the nation of Israel is scattered throughout the entire earth. But the majority of, you know, Israelites and the elect of the nation of Israel are here in America, you know, Babylon the Great. <clears throat> and this is where that great deliverance is going to take place as well as the great destruction. these three books in Mark chapter 13 <clears throat> verse 20 22 and 27 just reiterating the same thing that was spoken of in Matthew this is the book of Luke chapter 18 and verse 7 and shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him though he bear long with them yes you know the Lord is going to deliver his elect, you know. He gave his elect unto our Lord Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai is going to deliver his elect because the elect is crying unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai daily, you know, because of the things which they have to suffer here in captivity, here in Babylon and Great. <clears throat> This is the book of Romans, chapter 8, and verse 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of Yahweh's elect? It is Yahweh that justifieth. And yes, Yahweh is going to justify his elect. Or Yahweh Shai is going to justify the elect, you know. He's the mediator for the nation of Israel. But only the elect, only the elect's prayers are being heard. <clears throat> And he, they're going to justify their sins. Their sins are going to be blotted out. <clears throat> it's the book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 12. Put on, therefore, as the elect of Yahweh, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering. And yes, you know, the Lord willing, we you know be a part of that number and i say we included myself you know i pray that you know we are part of that you know that righteous number that remnant that's going to be delivered you know because we don't know who the elect are in this time but we have to put on as the elect as is stated you know showing mercy showing kindness having humbleness of mind, 
meekness and long suffering. You know, these are the things that we have to do. Speaking of myself, first and foremost. <clears throat> Is the book of First Timothy, chapter 5, and verse 21. I charge thee before Yahweh and the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach and the elect angels that thou observe these things without preferring one before another, doing nothing by partially. This is the book of Slakia, <clears throat> Second Timothy, chapter two and verse ten. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may obtain the salvation which is in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach with eternal glory. And yes, you know, all of those scriptures that I brought out are great, you know points but this is one of the main points you know the apostle paul basically said he suffered all things for the elect's sake because in this time that's what it's all about of course you know it starts with our lord yahweh shai receiving his glory on the earth but it's about the elect as well you know receiving that salvation of our lord when he returns in his glory scripture and then I'm going to close this is the book of Romans chapter 11 and 7 what then Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for but the election hath <clears throat> obtained it and the rest were blinded and yes you know the election the elect the remnant you know of the nation of Israel receive this truth, you know, and ultimately they're going to receive, you know, the salvation of the nation. I said, <laughs> Slakia, they're going to receive the salvation of our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, but mainly the elect have obtained this truth, this knowledge, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. But the rest of the nation of Israel, you know, are blinded. The two thirds of the nation of Israel, they're blinded and they can't get this truth. They're going to have to get it once they come back in the kingdom through the elect. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. So the next time I say Shalom.